Hello and welcome to my RuneScape 3 quest guide for Biohazard. To begin this quest you must first complete the quest Plague City, a guide for which can be found by clicking on the card on screen now or in the description of this video. I would recommend having activated the Ardoin, Port Sarim and Varrock Lodestones as we will be using these to get around. A guide for activating the Lodestones can be found in the card on screen now or in the description of this video. For this quest you will need 10 coins which we will use to buy a priest outfit in the quest. You will also need armour and a weapon, and lower levels should bring a small amount of food. The rewards for this quest are 3 quest points, 1250 thieving experience, access to the combat training camp, and access to West Ardoin through the gate. This is a novice quest which should take Spacebar Warriors no more than 15 minutes to complete, and if you like to read quest dialogue, this should take between 25 to 30 minutes to complete. There is one enemy to defeat, a level 33 mourner, who should not pose much of a threat. To start this quest, teleport to the Ardoin Lodestone. From here, run southwest into Ardoin and follow my route to Elena's house, which is the quest start point. Once here, speak with Elena, and after the dialogue you will see the quest overview screen. Choose Accept Quest. After this, run back east across the bridge, following my route to Jericho's house. Once here, speak with Jericho. After the dialogue, search his cupboard in his house for some bird feed, and then run outside behind his house and pick up one of the pigeon cages. Run back west across the river, and this time towards the West Ardoin Gate. you will see a watchtower with mourners in it. Use the bird feed on the watchtower fence, which is the spears sticking out of the ground. After this, open the pigeon cage and you will see pigeons swarm the watchtower. Now run south and speak with Omar. After the dialogue, speak with him again, and when prompted, choose the first dialogue option to climb over the wall. Okay, let's do it. Once here, run north to the northernmost wall following the path I do. Outside the Renaissance house, to the east is a rotten apple. Pick this up, then run east and squeeze through the gap in the fence. Now right click and choose use on your apple, and then use it on the cauldron to put it in the cauldron. Now squeeze back through the fence and run to the building to the southwest of West Ardoin, following the path that I take.
This is Nurse Sarah's house. Enter this house and search the box on the northern wall to receive a doctor's gown. Make sure you equip this now. Now leave this house and run to the northeasternmost building where we just place an apple in the cauldron, but instead of squeezing through the fence, we want to open the front door. Once inside, open the door to the west and climb up the stairs. Open the door to the east and attack one of the mourners. Once it is defeated, it will drop a key. Pick this up. Now use this key on the gate that you can see to unlock it. In this caged area, search the crates until you receive a distillator. Once you have the distillator, teleport to the Ardoin Lodestone. Once here, follow my path back to Elena. Speak with Elena and she will give you a plague sample and some other vials. Make sure while you are carrying the plague sample that you do not teleport anywhere, as doing so will destroy it. Now we want to run back east to the Ardoin bank and place our plague sample in the bank. Once it is in the bank, we can safely teleport. Teleport to the Port Sarin Lodestone. From here, run north into the clan camp, following the route that I take. Once here, use the bank chest and withdraw your plague sample. Once you have the sample, run southwest following the route that I take into Rimmington and to the chemist. Make sure when speaking with the chemist that you do not mention that you have the plague sample, as this will result in him taking it from you. To avoid this, make sure to choose the dialogue options that I do. Speak with the chemist and when prompted, choose the following dialogue options. The third option, ask about biohazard. Then the second option, it's okay, I'm Elena's friend. And then the second option, I just need some touch paper for a guy called Guider. After this, exit the chemist's house. There are three chemist assistants who you need to give the vials to. Make sure to give the vials I do to each of the assistants, as giving an assistant the wrong vial will lose that vial and you'll have to get more from Elena. Speak with Chansey, and when prompted, choose the second option. You give him the vial of liquid honey. 
then speak with Da Vinci, and when prompted, choose the first option. You give him the vial of Athenia. Finally, speak with Hops and choose the third option. You give him the Sulfuric Broline. Once all three assistants have their vials, they will transport them to Varok for you. Run north and back to the clan camp following the route that I take, and you can then deposit your plague sample before teleporting to the Varok Lodestone. Once you've deposited your sample, teleport to the Varok Lodestone. From here, run north and enter Thessalia's clothes shop. Trade with her and buy a priest gown top and priest gown bottom. Make sure to equip these now. Then run to the Varrock East Bank and withdraw your plague sample. Now you've got your sample, run to the gate to the southeast following my route and open it. You will be searched but the guard will find nothing. Once you're through the gate, enter the pub and speak with all three chemists' assistants to receive the vials that you gave them. Once you have all three vials and the plague sample, enter the southeastern building. In a room in here, you will find Guider. Speak with him, and when prompted, choose the following dialogue options. The first option, I've come to ask your assistance in stopping a plague. The second option, I've been sent by your old pupil, Elena. And then the first option again. That's why Elena wanted you to do it. After the dialogue, teleport back to the Ardoin Lodestone. From here, follow the route back to Elena. Speak with Elena and after the dialogue exit her house and run south to Ardoin Castle. Enter the castle and ascend any of the stairs. The central room on the floor that you are on will have King Lathus inside. Enter this room and speak with him and when prompted, choose the first dialogue option. I don't understand. After the dialogue, you will complete the quest. 
I hope this guide has helped you and if it has, please leave a like on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you have any feedback on how I can make these guides easier to follow, please let me know in the comments of this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.